uh, for a large number of them that will have recovered enough. Another reason is that uh, to be able to lend at a zero interest rate, we need to have subsidies to compensate for the interest rate. And oh, yet, we have accumulated this uh, amount of uh, resources which make us able to do this until the end of 2011. It doesn't mean that it will stop. We may find other resources and go further if necessary, but at least the uh, zero interest rate will go on until the end of 2011, which is a big change compared to what have been done in the past or what could be done by other institutions. Now, with that in mind, uh, what has IMF's uh, contribution been to the Kenyan economy and the wider African uh, continent so far? Well, you know, we had one year ago a very important conference in Dar es Salaam in Tanzania where uh, we tried to set up the basis, the foundation of a new role for the IMF, taking into account what has been done in the past, what was good, what was bad, listening from our African partners, uh, the criticism they may have, and they had a lot. Some were fair, some may be challenged. And we decided together to build a new relationship between the IMF and, and Africa. One year later, it delivers. And you were talking just before about this zero interest rate alone, but that's only one small part of the total package. A new kind of a financial facility have been uh, created, new kind of relationship, new training centers are being uh, are going to be open in, in, in Africa. So on each field of our activity, our engagement with African countries has improved. And I think that African governments uh, all across the, the continent realize this and acknowledge this. Now one of the concerns um, that we, we picked up during the debate in Nairobi was the fact that several of the panelists, especially of African origin, felt that the, there's not a strong voice within the IMF to, to speak for the African issues. What is your response to that? We already made a reform in 2008, which takes time to be implemented, partly because governments, not only in Africa, but also in Africa, say they agreed with the reform, but they are delaying the moment they will go to the parliament to approve it because they have other stuff to do which I can understand but so far the reform which has been done in, Af in, in 2008 and was in the interest of Africa has not been implemented. I think it will be rather soon and then we have a new step, a new round of uh, increasing the voice of low-income countries and emerging countries which is supposed to be completed by the end of this year and it will be done and again uh, emerging countries and low-income countries, including African countries, will see their, their share and their voice uh, increase in, in the IMF. But you know, representation is not only a question of quota, voice, shares, it's also a question of uh, diversity of the staff, uh, how many Africans really work in the IMF, and from this point of view I'm very uh, interested in developing the numbers of people coming from the different part of the world, it's true also for Latin America as well as for Africa, who are going to work in the institution, providing the institution with some different view from the world than uh, the more traditional view that the IMF could have in the past. Against that background, um, what's the IMF's outlook uh, for the Kenyan economy? In October 2009, uh, you were quoted as saying the Kenyan government is likely to grow by 4% in 2010. Keeping in mind uh, the current uh, both economic and political scene that we're seeing, are you still holding uh, on to that 4% projected growth for 2010? Well, uh, there have been some problems in Kenya, as you know, on the political side, uh, and some difficult problems, and of course it doesn't help. It hasn't helped for the Kenyan economy itself, but also it hasn't helped facing the rest of the world and uh, the foreign direct investment, for instance, because uh, the capital is keen investing in Africa, and Kenya, from this point of view, is a very interesting, uh, promising country. But uh, in capital flows go where they feel that the situation is safe. And for political reason, uh, the situation didn't appear so safe in, in, in Kenya. Well, I think that something between three and three and a half percent is probably what is uh, we can expect. You know, forecast is a difficult exercise.